My name is Carolyn Green and I'm a physician assistant in pulmonology here at Cox Health. Uh, I'm involved in um, working with patients with COPD, lung cancer, and many other pulmonary issues. I see a lot of different patients uh, that come in for many different reasons. COPD is one major health issue that we see. A lot of our patients um, started smoking at a very young age and have used tobacco for most of their lives and are seeing us as a result of the um, health consequences of that. We see a lot of patients with um, hypoxemia and are on oxygen. Um, a lot of end-stage COPD patients that are really going to die from the results of their smoking. We do see patients that have lung nodules and lung cancer and end up having to have resections. Um, some patients are there with COPD as a result of secondhand smoke um, due to just growing up in a household with parents as smokers and um, actually some of them never smoked themselves. So we see a lot of the uh, results of what tobacco can do to the body. I think a smoke-free policy, a comprehensive smoke-free policy would be really um, impactful in this area. We have a very high percentage of people in this community that do smoke and so a high percentage of people are exposed to secondhand smoke on an everyday basis. Um, reducing the number of people that smoke with a smoke-free policy would also impact the young generation. And um, Branson and Taney County could really use that in their future. And even for us now, um, just be not being exposed to that would immediately help our patients with COPD um, that are on an everyday basis struggling to breathe. It would immediately help those children that are being exposed every day to secondhand smoke that will eventually end up with um, health results that are negative. And 100% um, of us would benefit from a smoke-free policy. Um, so I really think it would benefit our community a lot.